everyone. Good afternoon, good evening, all the participants uh, from all over the world. Today we have Alibaba Cloud Community Day events uh, sponsored uh, program on AI and ML in Alibaba Cloud. And the speaker of the day is uh, Noah Kanan. He is an Alibaba Cloud MVP. of the tire and Abhishek Mishra. He is a well-known person. He is an um, MVP of our uh, platform www.tuptair.com. And we are, we are academic partner of Alibaba Cloud. And these are the few certifications which we have done in line with Alibaba Cloud. And you can get the certification directly from Alibaba Cloud by providing that link. How we can help you? We can help you to build your knowledge, digital presence, and help you in other ways when you are looking for jobs through our community. All you can access through our, uh, through the URL www.tripthair.com. As a part of our community, we are going to provide free level one certificate for all the participants. You can access the certificate by providing the secret code, which we will provide at the pro provide at the end of the session. So, uh, in this particular uh, particular event, we are going to provide two key takeaways key takeaways for you. First certificate will be from MultiCloud for you. That is a participation participation certificate from MultiCloud for you. And second certification from Alibaba Cloud. This is a free cloud certification which you can get after completing the after completing the quiz provided by Alibaba Cloud. And moving to the speaker of the day, it is uh, Nova Kanan. He is a data scientist and Azure architect and consultant at Top Fortune 500. He has associated with different roles and organizations in the industry, such as cloud integration consultant, cloud automation integration architect, automation uh, Vista consultant, automation integration and consultant. And he has got a couple of certification from AWS as well as uh, Alibaba Cloud. He is a ACS certified security certification he got and ACS certified cloud computing, and he has got ACS certification from Big Data from Alibaba Cloud. You can see more about him in the given uh, LinkedIn profile. And over to Navakana. Uh, thanks, Gavaskar.
so uh let's go to alibaba cloud there so this is alibaba cloud as but before that i'll go to ai platform sorry this is uh, alibaba ai and the data and intelligent platform if you scroll down so we have industry solutions readily available we can plug in and customize as per our need and uh, AA open services, anybody can use it. So if you see other than uh, Pi, we are, uh, Alibaba gives uh, vision specific requirements and even intelligent speech la like uh, language, uh, audio, audio, everything, audio. Then the language specific NLB, we have already uh, available missions, everything and the digital marketing recommendation or digital everything we can do open search like a global search you can develop like using cognitive kind of app ALS, AA and ML you can develop open search and the interactive chat or uh, this is similar to chat GPT but it's not uh, we I think I uh, Andrew Manson is a uh, they have a different capability, capabilities for chat GPT, but it's a similar ch chat bot, all we can develop in interactive AI. If you scroll down, you can see this is the AI platform under data intelligence. So any system, any solution or application we develop, we need computing engine. Even AI application we develop, we need uh, servers, computing engine. So we uh, Alibaba offers max compute data lake formation or uh, to store the uh, large amount of data. All we can use a data lake for and uh, any translation map produce. These are uh, big data environments. And we have data management. If you see data works, data field. But our uh, demo is in uh, AA and ML. I won't go through any of the uh, each item, any of the item in detail, okay. Just want to highlight it, uh, Alibaba capacity capabilities, okay. This is a machine learning, this is what I am talking about. Today I'm going to show a demo in uh, AA, uh, Pi, Pi environment, okay. Then finally, you develop the model and uh, train the model deployed. And finally, your uh, outcome is we should have the visual our statistical report and we'll show to business and say that is uh, fulfills the business requirements or uh, solves the business problem. So for that, uh, Alibaba has uh, called uh, quick VA and data view. Okay, let's jump into MI, uh, machine learning ML. Once click ML, you will see the screen. Okay. This is a ML screen, okay. This is a machine learning platform for AA, okay. So if left side, if you see this, all are the uh, menu features about that. So I already explained that the I tag, I tag is uh, nothing about creating labels for data. Uh, like a, uh, you can label the input data, okay. And on a second section, if you see data model, right? Uh, model development training, we have three uh, options. If I don't know uh, anything about ML, I know a little bit, but I want to, uh, I know which model to use or which algorithm to use, but I don't know much uh, hands-on experience. Then you can go, you know, high level, you know, then you can use a designer. A designer will give a drag and drop option. So just uh, uh, you can plug in a designer and uh, use it. Okay, so first step, we have to create pipeline. I already created a pipeline. Then if you go present templates, it has a lot of uh, pre-built and uh, readily available uh, models. You can plug any one model suits for your requirements. So we have a lot of uh, uh, available model. So you can create, choose one of them and uh, 
train the with your data uh, yeah, because uh, data will vary depends upon company or uh, business case or use cases uh, so we can create it and uh, uh, check the output and result uh, if everything looks good then you can promote that into prod okay so all one shot you can see or you want to go classification different way to see i want recommendation uh, like a basket uh, what uh, user will buy that uh, product or then when they have specific uh, a grouping so you can go and choose it like that okay this is uh, a if you choose this one, I already created uh, my pipeline. Let me open it. This is a model. It's a, I did not develop anything. This all Alibaba gave, gave to me. Uh, it means uh, already pre-defined okay just i have to feed the data and check each steps how it looks and uh, what is the value is coming accurate and run it develop a, uh, run uh, means uh, tra train the model then uh, push to prod uh, to the production okay this is uh, readily available uh, if you want uh, like uh, you don't want uh, existing model then you can go blank model i uh, means uh, from scratch you can develop everything okay so uh, left side this uh, i am developing uh, everything first stage is a data reading or uh, you have to read from somewhere i can drag that if i read from table you have to split time to clean it and to split into one for a tray for a, a testing then i have similar you can do everything from scratch you can develop okay so they have uh, sample data also there and you can use uh, integration you want to read something file from here everything drag and drop but you have to configure the each control okay let me drop one control and say uh, show you Yeah, so then the left side, uh, right side, you can see all parameters, tuning, uh, what are the, uh, you have to configure the details. Then uh, this is ready, then you can run it, then uh, give the next flow below this control, what uh, control to connect, you can, uh, it's a similar to air uh, quality prediction, what we took it from Alibaba. So same way you have to develop it, but you have to develop everything in a scratch. Yeah, that's the only different, okay. So this is a designer, okay, five designer. So visually you can see everything or you want to create custom template also you can develop, okay. Once you train everything, you can publish to uh, workspace, your workspace that uh, will be available to you as well as whoever using it, this workspace. All they can, we give, Alibaba gives two options uh, to show to me or show to all of this workspace, okay? That is kind of role they are giving it. Uh, second section is called interactive mode, okay? This is the place uh, we write the code more code we write it okay so means you are familiar with uh, ml uh, coding any language like python or r programming you can use it okay i developed one uh, 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 we, to create uh, interactive mode then we got to create the instance or server first okay then under that you can go and create a mala uh, your notebook or whatever instance okay let me launch this. I'll show this.
sorry guys i am connecting from us okay so <laughs> little uh, don't uh, okay see came everything uh, in fraction of second we got it okay so this is uh, a uh, if you see data science workspace but it's under pi but it's an interactive mode you can write everything from scratch without any designer okay so, I wrote already Python code. I will show in uh, my demo with I have sample data and I will uh, explain what is the use case uh, business scenario or uh, requirement for business uh, uh, requirements. Okay. So this is an interactive mode. This is where I'm going to show the demo today. Okay. So third one is a deep learning uh, container. Okay. This is where uh, you can go and create a deep learning algorithms like a, uh, uh, CNN or uh, RNN, or uh, NLB, all you can uh, kind of language algorithm, uh, NL, NLB language algorithm are based on your requirements, uh, like image classification you want, then you use the CNN language, uh, CNN algorithm. So, but these all are uh, uh, GPU based because uh, deep learning you can't run in a normal processor, okay, CPU should be a gpu okay so uh, uh, that's why you have to create separate uh, process with how you want it everything and you want to keep every your environment everything in secure in private network in your uh, enterprise itself network not available to anyone you can choose vpc all kind of available everything is there okay but i'm not going uh, each uh, things because we have only one hour to finish everything. If time permits, I will show more uh, navigate in these areas, okay? Okay, so, and you have created images, you can create our community image, you can pull it, okay? This is a server, everything you can, you can pull. Okay. Then uh, last one is a deployment. Once the model is ready, then we got to test it and everything looks good, then push to another environment like a uh, user acceptance area or a production area. That is where this EES coming, okay? So here uh, you can create deployment. Then uh, how many nodes, everything, they, Alibaba takes care. We should, don't need to uh, concentrate anything over here, okay? So my, uh, all uh, will be taken care by Alibaba. Okay, see one more good thing they have uh, Alibaba gives. Uh, I did not see this capability in any other uh, uh, cloud providers. Blue green. Okay, this is like a, you can push to prod, then uh, don't uh, migrate everything there uh, immediately. Slowly, gradually improve it. Uh, Fifty percent, forty percent in uh, old system, uh, sixty percent in new system, and looks good. And then move to uh, eighty percent to new. Like you gradually increase the your load to user or load to uh, new model. Okay, based on uh, how it performs and outcome, you can improve it. Or you, suppose uh, deployment fails, it takes care of automatically rollbacks to previous version. That's the blue green deployment. Okay. And they are giving uh, to update the existing deployment or uh, services. Okay. So the, once developed, you, it will be UI based or API based or backend, right? Uh, outcome is like uh, we have to go web based, uh, they use it, or uh, we produce the API. The API will connect our model and get the output or backend kind of approaches. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. Uh, so this is a deployment. Okay. Let's. Then if you see asset management, left side, you can uh, get asset data sets, model, everything. You can save it here. Okay, once developed, you want to use it across uh, enterprise, your company enterprise level, then uh, you can create data set and you keep it here. Everybody can use it. So model also, reusability or whatever approach you want to keep a repository. Uh, or centralized to repository for others to use within your uh, enterprise or within your company, then you can use a hall. And uh, this is the code integration version control. Okay, so you can integrate with uh, GitHub. 
so that we can maintain the multiple versions. Yeah, these all are uh, PI capabilities. It's not only this, uh, not limited to this uh, uh, areas, uh, but it has more. Okay, uh, let me jump into demo. Okay, I'm going to show the demo in uh, using interactive modeling that we call the data science workspace. Okay, I, I think already I opened it. Uh, so first, before I start the demo, I want to show uh, what is the requirements, okay. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to show demo in uh, warehouse. In uh, warehouse is nothing about uh, saving, uh, storing the things in uh, store, uh, good own or storage. Uh, uh, whatever we store or whatever comes to the warehouse, we call inbound. Whatever goes out from warehouse, that call uh, we call outbound. Okay. So assume that uh, assume that this is a number ten. This is a where container comes and they unstep it and store it wherever okay i'll take actual data okay yeah uh, this uh, if you assume this is a outside is a wall okay building wall okay inside uh, we have racks yale uh, rack and yale okay uh, so whatever container comes in uh, it will stop in zero and they will unstep and store it to number um, uh, negative zero one okay or that is a st storage bin location okay and then uh, whatever uh, minus one that is uh, called uh, wall so same way this is our outbound whenever uh, any uh, we got to deliver some goods to some customer or uh, some other company then this is outbound okay container comes truck comes here and uh, stuff they will stop things inside a container and then leaves out this is a one door or a staging area uh, this is an staging uh, this is also another staging area okay da. so here we will unstuff it here stuff the things from warehouse okay so our warehouse so we have <clears throat> we have robots robots are roaming around inside warehouse they should not hit the wall and we, based on instruction and our data, they got to go to proper bin and take the proper item, goods, and bring it to this location. Okay, these are the requirements. So, if you assume this is the data, right? So, wall we treat as minus one, and uh, wherever path we treat as uh, minus uh, uh, point one. Uh, I put real data. Okay, okay. This is this is a sample data, real sample data. Okay, so we this if you look, this is a matrix. Okay, so minus fifty is a wall, minus five is is a pathway. Okay, then we got to say where you are to go and how to pick it, what item. Then we got to guide the everything to robot. But in this case, we got to train the feed this data to. Uh, AA uh, or ML. This is uh, if you say we are saying you have to train the robot or a human being, right? So that means uh, uh, reinforcement Q learning algorithm we got to use. Okay, I, we have in uh, ML we have three types of uh, MLs, right? One is a uh, supervised and unsupervised. Suppression learning and the third one is a reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is a trial and error. So if they hit the minus uh, 0, 50 or anything, they will get the penalty. Then next time they won't do it. Okay. So like a chessboard, everything, they are, that game also trained by uh, reinforcement learning. But I'm using this for Vargo scenario. Okay. So truck comes and trucks comes and as soon as it comes, they give the instruction. Hey, bring a goods uh, uh, whatever item abc from this uh, rack and rail then uh, where a uh, robot will go like this and come and take the here and take the uh, data from this wall okay and go back but this uh, training uh, robot is easy but we have to tell uh, bring it uh, quickly shortest path you want to take 
I, for example, I take this, highlight it. I can come via this, uh, like this, I can come like this and come here and go, or I can go this way, this way, and this way, I can come, this is the longest path, or I can go here, 13, row, if you see 13. So I can come like this, this is the longest path. So we have to tell, go and pick, same time you will see, you have to use the optimal shortest path. That's very important, okay? So that's why, suppose I want to take uh, data from this place, then I have to train the robot to come here, uh, go uh, straight and take a uh, right turn, then pick it up. Instead of go left turn and right, uh, again left and go straight, then right, that uh, four or five turns it takes and it will take time also, okay? And at the same time, it should not hit the wall. If it hits the wall, it will get penalty. So it keeps the in memory, says that I hey, something wrong, so I should not do it again at the same, uh, because uh, once you hit, hit, he knows it, oh, this is a wall, so I should not hit again, okay? Uh, other, because we give penalty, so no one wants to get the penalty, correct? Even robot or human being. So, so we want to get the awards, award or uh, winning like right so that's why we'll train the robot to do that okay this is a sample data i am using it this is a 30 cross 30 matrix with the, uh, i filled pre already pre-filled data okay this is a use case okay uh, and i'm using a reinforcement learning but i am going to show everything in from scratch okay So I uploaded already that same WMS data. This has a CSV file, same data, okay. Then I have WMS okay, value management system code. I already ran it, but I will run it from scratch. Or if we want to create new notebook, just go here, click, then it gives option, right? A Python you can take, and uh, you want to connect a SQL database, a SQL file is there, okay? TensorBoard, you want to do, these all are the tools, okay? Galaxy, gallery, everything is there. I'm choosing notebook, okay? Notebook, then I'm running it here, okay? So there's a, if you choose one notebook, uh, yeah, let me click, yeah, I let it. So it will show like this, okay? So then we can write our Python code directly. For example, uh, I put it uh, commands, everything, okay, properly. To, so uh, suppose you want to run it, you can just import all namespace, whatever namespace needed. Escape. Okay. Here. You can run it and it's a uh, uh, market, whatever market we, it's available in market, same notebook, okay, it's nothing different. Because if you see, they are giving it to run more code, markdown and raw, okay. So suppose I want to give title for this, then I say testing, uh, reinforcement learning model uh, development. Uh, title, then I can put hash. This is a markup language, so this will give a good. Uh, then run it, then we get title, okay? Then, so, oh, come on, okay. Okay, okay, so this is uh, giving explanation about what I'm going to do it or whatever. Then I can run the my code. Code is a code but you want labeling for particular code or particular section, then you can use the markup. But this is the same is whatever is available outside, same capabilities, nothing is different, okay? It's a, uh, Alibaba gives same capacity, capabilities to us. So, so I can run it, code, then it runs. For example, I want to print something.
Then I just run it. Uh, okay, it's my syntax error. Okay, don't worry. Basic commands I never use. But okay, guys. Okay, we'll go and our code to test it. Okay, so. Okay, I understood what is a small case, right? Okay, Python code. Okay, got it. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, syntax. Okay, is a okay. Okay, so and that's my mistake. Okay, it's uh, syntax error. Okay, so it highlights even error what we did wrong. Okay, so. Uh, Okay, let's get into WMS code, okay, our use case, okay. I'm asking to go and pick the data from using shortest, optimal shortest path for uh, uh, things, bring it under uh, to uh, staging area, okay. So this is the system, okay. I already ran and tried it and uh, I want to show it, okay. First, we can import all the namespace, packages, everything, whatever we want it, okay. Uh, I put a description also. What is this? Okay. I can see it. Yeah. So, where goes what is where goes and a small explanation. And it has a two processes inbound, outbound. Okay. I'm asking uh, to pick the data from where goes. Okay. Uh, from a bin location and bring to staging okay that is a uh, requirements okay what i am using i am using reinforcement learning uh, learning and uh, if she... why we want to use where uh, see a human being will go they go one time a proper way second time if they are tired they feel and they go slowly and like that if you use robots to pick it will give go and come in a use the shortest path based on our training okay that's a, that's a one uh, another one is a queue learning i'm using a queue learning components like a state queue tables and a location everything okay then this is a package if we run the package yeah we run already so if we I'm just showing the data. Five first top five. This is a command. Okay, if you are not using this, okay, runs like that. So if you want to use, see what top five, then you use this index. This is a Python code. Okay, yeah. So so we can see. Uh, glance the data and uh, over here, what is anywhere, not only anything is there, uh, how it looks, everything. Okay. Then after that, uh, in uh, ML, this is a, if you see our uh, one is uh, uh, first one is a tag, tag is optional, right? Second one is a data preparation we got to do. Okay. Data preparation is a part of ML process, right? So you have to clean the data, check any null or any empty, anything is there, remove it, then go, uh, or you want to fill the null with some mean value. This all are part of a ML programming, okay? Data preparation, you have to do it, okay? I'm putting uh, data cleaning as a label, and uh, if you run the sum, it will tell how many rows having null, okay? If null means you get count, zero, but my case, I uh, prefer the, I uh, created the data. So it won't be any null, but let's see whether same result or not. Okay, there is no null. Okay, all 30 rows having a valid, all columns are having valid record values. 
okay then uh, you want to check uh, different way of syntax to check the null again okay this will give you a true or false instead of showing one every row by row you can overall we can check anything any thing is there but before the first step after import i am doing the loading the data uh, with and showing this this is the does together but this data wms data is coming from here you can upload any data okay you have upload option you can upload so you don't need to think about how to upload uh, here uh, all everything is available here okay so you, you can easily upload the data to your dsw environment then use it okay and uh, another one yeah, it has supports a git you can pull it from uh, code repository version control wherever you have in online git repository go uh, you can give that configure it and pull it and uh, do this and save back or check uh, commit it will go up uh, go to it will be saved in a git repository okay that also you can do that that means what i'm trying to say is uh, it has a full capabilities capacity to develop everything from scratch you don't need to because if you say a uh, file is a local and uh, i may lose the versioning everything then all we can do it uh, version control support kernel kernel is like a gpu what kind of server you want to run it everything uh, we can configure it okay so i did this is the code okay so uh, let me so i want to see what is inside what is the st statistics uh, st statistics uh, uh, description report i want to see how much mean uh, minimum standard deviation all i want to see uh, then i will run this uh, command okay if i run we'll get okay this is the report we get okay and this because of uh, requirement is like we don't need to do correlation and the multivariance kind of uh, uh, checking because this is not uh, supervised learning it's a, a reinforcement reinforcement learning so we can skip that step okay so this uh, i want to see the data in the graph uh, then i can put that data into uh, show the panda uh, we can just see the queue uh, report okay Okay, so run, this is a parameter setting for my uh, data set. What is a queue value? What is a location a rewards? Everything I'm telling this is a configuration, but I want to show that my data set or the WMS data in a graph format, because we know the warehouse uh, here, everything we know how we fill that warehouse layout, right? Then uh, that's why data shows uh, exactly same way because uh, you won't see any variation anything. Okay, now is the core part of uh, the ML, right? Uh, we are coming. Okay, see, this is a building model. So we got to build the model and train. Okay, so I have code here. This is a Python code. Uh, okay, so what I'm telling uh, uh, agent in a re re reinforcement learning. Uh, RL model, we need a uh, agent. Agent is uh, in this case is a robot, but uh, agent, we are going to train the agent to look the shortest path. So let's run this model. Uh, so model got got created okay next step is that we got to train the model okay i'm training the model train the model is nothing about we got to pass the data and uh, uh, train the model okay uh, while 
training the model, you can say how many times I want to train the model. Like you have to keep on learning, okay? Then only you will get uh, per, uh, get more accuracy or per perfection. So this is a reinforcement learning, correct? So we got to ask an agent or a robot to go and pick again and again. It's not same location, different location, and see how it does how it uh, does the good or not. Uh, it gets rewards or penalty. If penalty, then it has to do again, again. Then get the until get the rewards. That is why we got to train. Okay, so I'm going to train the data uh, model. Let's train the model. Once that model is trained, it will uh, will show print the training model. Training completed. Okay, so that way because a train training model will take some time. So if you put more uh, uh, episodes means uh, I want to train instead of 5,000, I want uh, 10,000. It will take little more, but we get more accuracy, okay? But uh, we have 30 cross 30, uh, 30 rows and 30 columns, so it's not huge data. So we 5,000 is good enough. Okay, so uh, now we got, we build the model, we build, uh, we train the model. Next step is, uh, we have to check uh, accuracy of that model, right? Evaluation and validation. Because in uh, data science or AA model, uh, this is a kind of regular software development is a unit test, or we have to do ourselves everything. Uh, it's not a traditional way of a QA we do. We have to evaluate and give unit test and uh, check the model accuracy, performance, everything. Then we hand out to other team or uh, we'll uh, push the model to the production, okay? Let's uh, see, the, we have find shortest path. I'm telling this is a rack, this is a Yale and rack. I'm telling go and get data. Okay. So, and what is a route you took? I want to see it. Okay. This is a nothing the route. First, if you see sheet. It got uh, row uh, column got cut. This is uh, a uh, rows in the top. Also, we have zero here, and then we have one, two, three like that. If you go regular, yeah. So I have uh, this is a row one, uh, row zero, one, two, three. I trade it. So, so for example, it says, uh, take this name. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it says, uh, Okay, yeah. Uh, eight comes to twenty-eight comma five, twenty-eight comma four. Until zero comma fourteen, this is a starting location from the star fourteen. Like, uh, so this uh, first row fourteenth column is a st start location. Then uh, uh, second row means it went straight. Then uh, straight like that. So here ten okay, comma eight. Okay. See our C. If we go, we can uh, see it here. In the, I got top printed here because okay, not this. One. So this way, so start location is 18 comma zero. It started from here and uh, it went through like all the way and it took tan somewhere. I'll show the in graph, okay? Then you guys can understand more clearly. Let me, yeah. 
So this is a path it took. This uh, shows in a, a number a statistical report details, right? Let's uh, view in graph mode, then we get more clearer. Okay, so I'm going to run it here. Okay, uh, run. So let's see, see? See, uh, any uh, agent or robot, anybody, even we have to uh, give the guidelines to system. Hey, go this path, okay? From 14, go here, 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 take 10, and to pick the data from this location. Location is 28. Uh, what is the row? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Okay, uh, data from uh, goods. Okay, so this is the instruction we gave. Let's see what is the input we gave. Okay, uh, 28 and 6. That's right. Yeah, so if you want to see different uh, uh, response, uh, like uh, I'm saying uh, 28, uh, 20, instead of 28, I'm saying 25. Give me 25, and uh, this. Uh, uh, this is nothing about track and real uh, bin location, okay? So I'm saying go to 22. Okay, let's see how it runs. Okay, this is a path it took it. Let's see in graph mode. So now system going different places because uh, if you see my data is 22nd is a uh, ale row 25th, but ale is right side uh, instead of left. So it took this, uh, this at system took it. Okay. This is the shortest path. If you calculate whatever uh, way we try it, this will be the shortest path. Okay. This way we can uh, achieve our warehouse use case like outbound picking scenario. Okay. Uh, we can uh, get the train this model and uh, convert this model into binary or image or pickle file and to deploy that model into robot system or uh, in online and give the expose the api and uh, user can enter uh, through a web based uh, system uh, or a robot system they can uh, give the instruction i want to pick this uh, data and this uh, goods from this location then uh, the agent or system knows what is the shortest path. I'm not showing the deployment option. That is uh, like if we got to convert this model to binary format and we can deploy that format uh, file binary data into uh, ES, ES, elastic services, then it's ready for use. Okay. Gavaskar? Yeah. It's completed? Yes. Yeah, so... that's all, yeah, that's all from my side. And uh, yeah, one uh, Python code I did run to notebook. I think that's enough. Uh, <laughs> good enough. But uh, yeah. If any questions anybody wants to ask, uh, they yeah. can ask. Okay. Yeah. Participants, uh, you are on unmute. Uh, you can ask your questions. You can unmute yourself and you can ask your questions. Yeah, there is uh welcome i think there is no questions okay thank yeah, you let, okay. yeah let, let me share the screen and uh, share the secret code for downloading the certificate so participants as mentioned uh, secret code for downloading the certificate is a N seven one B H. I already.
ये एनिमल का परिवार बनता है थैंक यू